CMAA has two conferences each year, the National Conference and Trade Show every fall and Focus every spring. These conferences are the premier events for the construction and program management industry, and they provide you with a great opportunity to share your insights and innovations in the profession by submitting an education session proposal. This video tutorial will walk you through how to submit a proposal using the submission portal. Please pay special attention to the following tips and tricks as they will not only benefit you as the submitter and presenter, but will ultimately benefit the conference attendees. Please keep in mind the submission form in this video is a generic form and the actual RFP may change from conference to conference. So let's begin. The first section of the RFP will discuss the conference theme. Conference themes will vary year to year and each conference will focus on pertinent industry issues. Proposals can address these topics from any perspective, for example, early career or mid-career or post-certification, and from a variety of experiences, including lessons learned from failures or project rescues. Also keep in mind CMAA is project delivery neutral and encourages sessions that cover a variety of methods. Also on this homepage will be the submission deadline for that specific conference RFP. Next, please be sure to read the fine print and RFP guidelines before getting started with your proposal. The fine print can be found in the bullets below and the guidelines can be downloaded using the button at the bottom of the screen. Some key notes are that all proposals must be submitted through this online forum. Speakers will be notified of their acceptance and then they must confirm or decline intent to present within one week of the notification. On-site speakers are to supply their own laptop for the presentation purposes. Also, all speakers must, must register for the conference and speakers consent to being video recorded and or photographed. The guidelines provide a great overview of the conference the recommended topics, important dates that you need to know, what presentation information we need, as well as the submission and selection criteria. The other button in the submission portal is to download the RFP template. This template is very important because incomplete forms cannot be saved in the submission portal. So for example, if you're halfway through the submission and there's a power outage, you won't be able to come back later and pick up where you left off. For this reason, we highly recommend that you download and complete the entire RFP template first. And then when you're ready to submit your proposal, you can come into the portal and copy and paste the information. So again, on the next page, it stresses the importance of using this template and again includes a link um, to download the RFP template here. The next page includes uh, presentation information. There are two sections here, presentation information and learning objectives and outcomes. Under presentation information, the title and description entered here will be the one used to promote your session online and to conference attendees. Experience level, conference track, and presentation topics will all be used to balance the entire conference program so that we meet the needs of all attendees. Duration, room layout, presentation format, and engagement strategy these all address how you as a presenter will interact with and engage the audience. CMAA places a high value on interactive sessions, so be sure to explain how you will get the audience engaged and interacting. The more interactive the session, the more likely it will be to be selected, especially when compared to a similar topic that doesn't have an engagement strategy. The next section is for the learning objectives and outcomes. This includes the key takeaways and post-conference value. This is what you think the attendee will learn from attending your session. The audience members will be thinking, what's in it for me when they attend these sessions? So when you complete this section, um, you should ask yourself, why should someone come to my session? How does it apply to them? And how will it help them as a CM? And then next are the learning objectives, which are required for providing continuing education credit. Please make sure your learning objectives are clear, measurable, and achievable. Next are the multiple choice questions. These will be used if your session is recorded and made available online for continuing education credit. 
These questions should relate directly to your content and learning objectives. When writing questions, please avoid using true false, all of the above or none of the above questions. Um, and please also avoid questions such as um, which of the following is not. The next page is for the submitter information. So this is where you enter your name and contact information. The email address entered here uh, is where the submission confirmation email will be sent, which will include the submission and important deadlines. If you are also a speaker, please select the first option and your contact information will be auto-populated in the Speaker 1 section of the next page. Please complete this information for all speakers. You may notice we collect information regarding demographics. Um, these responses are optional, though we do strive for diversity in all facets, including race, gender, project delivery, organization type, age, etc. So adding that information would be helpful. We highly encourage you to submit a headshot for each speaker. When doing so, please name the headshot file with the speaker's first and last name. If your submission only includes one speaker, you can obviously skip speaker two. However, please complete this information for all known speakers. The next page includes details on continuing education credit. We do submit conference sessions to RCEP and AIA for approval to offer credit, and we need this information in this section to properly submit that. Please keep in mind only sessions that address health, safety, and welfare can offer HSW learning units through AIA. To see if your session qualifies, please read the requirements at the following link, and only check the box below if your session meets those requirements. Under the Speaker Roles and Responsibilities sections, Please acknowledge the items listed below. Not consenting to any of these items does not disqualify you, but we do need to know if you object to something so that we can consider that prior to accepting your session. And just to reiterate, all speakers must, must register and pay for the event. Since this is a generic RFP, there is no specific deadlines listed in the deadline section, but for the actual conference RFP, the deadline would be listed here. After completing the, the entire submission form and clicking the submit button, you will then get a confirmation screen. You will also receive a confirmation email, which will include important deadlines and your submission information as it was entered on the form. The confirmation email will also include a link that the submitter can use to go back and make any necessary edits to the submission. Please note, if you do not receive this confirmation email, your submission did not go through or perhaps you put the wrong email address under the submitter information. For any questions not addressed in this video tutorial or the RFP guidelines, feel free to contact Alex Early at aearly at cmaanet .org. Thank you in advance for your submission, and we look forward to your participation in future CMAA events.